ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد تبسيد is a tremendous statement reported by Sheikh Abu Nu'aym Al-Asbahani Al-Hafidh Rahmatullahi Alayhi with his chain of narration going back to Sufyan ibn Sa'id Al-Thawri Rahmatullahi Alayhi who was the Imam of the people of Kufa from the Tabi Al-Tabi'een from the third generation of Islam and he along with a number of other scholars, the likes of Imam Malik and Az-Zuhri, Sufyan ibn Uyayna and others in his time were from the first generation of what are called Al-Nuqad. Al-Nuqad are the ulama that critique the chains of narration. The ulama that critique the chains of narration, meaning they critique the narrators. They critique the narrators, and who was Dhabit or Ghayru Dhabit, and who was a reliable narrator who had what was called a Dhabt, and he, where a person has either memorized what they are narrating and they were attested to having a strong, a strong memory, or they would narrate from what they had written down, and they would be careful as regards what they wrote down and who they narrated from and the likes of these matters, and that they had an adala And these are the two conditions that the scholars mentioned for the acceptability of a narrator in general, al-dabtu wal adala and that they have uh, strength in memory, or that they were careful in what they wrote down, and that if they wrote their narrations down, and they were not strong in memory, that they would narrate from exactly what they wrote, word for word, exactly as they wrote it, and that they had al-adala. They had al-adala, which is trustworthiness, that they were known to be upright individuals who were not known for lying and treachery and deception and these sorts of affairs. And so this is the way that the knowledge was preserved in the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And by the critique of the chains of narration and the critique of the narrations by the qualified scholars from the earliest of generations. So this is the third generation and this is one of the imams who is one of the people that he himself is describing in this statement where he says al malaikatu hurrasu sama wa ahlul hadith hurrasu al ard the malaika are the guardians of the heavens and the people of hadith are the guardians of the earth the malaika are the guardians of the heavens and the people of hadith are the guardians of the earth and there are a number of narrations and statements from the writings of the ulama, the earliest of generations, that give us the details of exactly what is meant by that. And he, from the narrations is what is in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he said, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. Indeed, we sent down the dhikr. Indeed, we sent down the remembrance, meaning the religion. And indeed, we shall safeguard the religion. And here, when Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, Nahnu, it is called the Noon of Al-Adam. And is known in the English language also, when we referring to the first person pronoun, a person saying, we meaning I, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in His greatness, when Allah says we, and here it is Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala informing that what He is mentioning in a particular instance, is from the evidences of his unfathomable greatness and, tre and tremendousness and his right to be venerated. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Allah said, indeed, we sent down the remembrance and indeed we are its, we are hafidun, we are the protectors. We shall safeguard the revelation. It's so reported by Abu Dawood and others from Abi Huraira, from the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, along these lines that the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, إن الله يبعث لي هذه الأمة على رأس كل مئة سنة من يجدد لها دينها. Allah سبحانه وتعالى 
will send for this nation at the head of every 100 years man yujaddid laha deenaha and he, that, those that would safeguard or those that would yujaddid and he, those that would renew the religion those that would revive the religion so the safeguard is of the deen and the mujaddidun they are the ulama al-rabbaniyun and they are the scholars and those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prays in his book when he said to Barak wa ta'ala innama yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al-ulama inna Allah azizun ghafoor indeed those that truly fear Allah from his ibad are those that have knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the more a person has knowledge of Allah the more they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as is stated by Masruq ibn Abdul Rahman who was from the closest students of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and Al-Kufa from the Tabi'een, from the second generation, when he said, May Allah have mercy upon him. Katha bin Mari ilman an yakshallah wa katha bin Mari jahalan wa ghatiraran an yu'jibahu amaluh. He said that it is enough of a man to be considered to be knowledgeable that he has taqwa of Allah, that he has khashi of Allah. He has a knowledge based fear of Allah. And it's enough of a man to be deluded that he is astonished with his actions. Well, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And he has informed and he, that the most righteous of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every time and every place they are the ulama, they are the scholars. And those that have knowledge of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and more person has of knowledge about Allah, the more he should fear Allah. And so the scholars have stated that the ulama, that the ulama of hadith, that the scholars of hadith, that they are that they are the uh, safeguarders and the protectors of the earth. Likewise, from the narrations along those lines, as was reported by, collected by Al Bukhari in his Sahih from the Hadith of Abdullah bin Amr. He said, I heard the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying, Inna فَإِذَا لَمْ يَبْقَى عَالِمٌ اتَّخَذَ النَّاسُ رُؤُوسًا جُهَالًا فَسُئِلُوا فَأَفْتَوْ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ فَظَلُّوا وَأَظَلُّوا And indeed Allah tabarak wa ta'ala does not take the knowledge all at one time, seizing it from his ibad, from his slaves, but rather he takes the knowledge by the taking of the scholars, by the death of the scholars, to the extent that when no single scholar remains and he amongst the people, then the people will take رُؤُوسًا جُهَالًا they would take ignorant people as their leaders, will be asked and will give fatwa without knowledge, and they will go astray and lead others astray. In the hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri, collected by Bukhari, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Yuja'u bi nuhin yawm al qiyama fayuqanu la. The Nuh will be brought on the day of judgment and will be said to him, Did you convey your message? فَيَقُولُ نَعْمْ يَا رَبِّ He said, he will say, Yes, O oh my Lord. فَتُسْأَلُ أُمَّتُهُ هَلْ بَلَّغَكْ هَلْ بَلَّغَكُمْ And so his nation will then be asked, Did he convey his message to you? فَيَقُولُونَ مَا جَاءَنَا مِنْ نَذِيرٍ And they will say that no warner came to us. فَيَقُولُ مَنْ شُهُودُكُ مَنْ شُهُودُكُ And so Allah, He will say to Nuh, Who are your witnesses? فَيَقُولُ مُحَمَّدٌ وَأُمَّتُهُ Who are his witnesses? Muhammad and his nation, صلى الله عليه وسلم. فَيُجَاءُ بِكُمْ فَتَشْهَدُونَ And so you will be brought, and you will give your testimony. ثُمَّ قَرَأَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم كَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَصَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا And as such, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recited the verse, and as such has, have we made you a nation that is wasata, a nation that is moderate on a middle course. On a middle course. لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ A balanced nation, a fair and just balanced nation. So that you could be witnesses over the people and so that the Messenger وسلم, may be a witness over you. Al-Hafid ibn Hajr al-Asqalani, he said, Al-Wasatul Adl, wa hum ahlu sunati wal jama'ah. 
He said, Al-Wasat, what is meant by Al-Wasat? A moderate nation or Al-Adl. I mean, a nation that is just and fair and upright. And they are the people of As-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah. وَهُمْ أَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ الشَّرْعِ And they are the people of religious knowledge. فَيَقُولُ أَبُو مُسْمَنْ خَوْلَانِ سَيِّرُ التَّابِعِينَ مَثَلُ الْعُلَمَاءِ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَمَثَلُ النُّجُومِ فِي السَّمَاءِ إِذَا بَدَتْ لَهُمْ اِحْتَدَوْ وَإِذَا خَفِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ تَحَيَّرُوا Along these lines, Abu Muslim and Khawlani, who was from the most illustrious scholars of the Tabi'een, who died in the year 62 after the Hijrah of the Prophet ﷺ, meaning he died before many of the youth of the companions died, before many of the ulama of the youth of the Sahaba died. And he died very young. Abu Muslim and Khawlani, he said that the likeness of the scholars in the earth are like the likeness of the scholars in the earth are like the stars in the sky. When they are visible to the people, ihtado, they are rightly guided. And when the scholars are ambiguous and unknown, tahayyaru, and the people will be in a state of bewilderment and confusion. Abu Qilaba, Abdullah bin Zayd al Jurami, wal Jarami. He said, مثل العلماء مثل النجوم والعالام يحتدي بها الناس Abu Qilaba, Abdullah bin Yazid, Abdullah bin Zayd al-Jarami, he said that the ulama are like the stars and like the alam, and like the signs on the road that direct the people. فَإِذَا تَوَارَتْ تَرَدَّدُوا فِي الْحَيْرَةِ And yet when they are not visible, when they are not seen to the people, then the people, they find themselves in a state of confusion and bewilderment. And those that have the greatest portion of the sharaf, of this nobility, they are the people of hadith, and the people of knowledge from Ahl al-Sunnah. Al-Bukhari, he reported in Sahih in Kitab al-Ihtisam, Bab Qawl al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the chapter لَتَزَالُ طَائِفَةٌ مِنْ أُمَّةِ ظَاهِرِينَ عَنَ الْحَقِّ يُقَاتِلُونَ وَهُمْ أَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ Al-Bukhari, he said in Kitab al-Ihtisam, the book of Hording Fasa, the son of the Prophet wasallam. the chapter of the statement of the Prophet wasallam that they will not cease to be from my nation those that are apparent upon the truth fighting upon the truth, fighting for the truth. Bukhari, he said,